Welcome everyone, it's Evelyn from Twin Flames 3344. I have a Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine Twin Flame read. This read is based on me and my twins templating for Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine combined as one unit for the best and highest good of all is concerned across all dimensions of time, space, matter, and realities, and so it is. I will get into this, so this will cover everybody. I'm going to do all 12 signs after this combined Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine read as well. There were some important messages that definitely came through the, through the read today, and so we're going to get right to it. Today is October 3rd, 2019. The three is all about the Empress, Gaia, expressing yourself authentically. It's about siblings and coming together and being in joy, coming together in joy, socializing. The day adds up to 25-7, which is the Knight of Wands, so it's very much about activity today. That's physical activity, working out, going around, running errands, shopping, um, being passionate. All of those things are coming up under the 25, which is also a 7, which is the calm before the storm, that very peaceful, quiet within from which you gain your power. Okay, So we have the 3 and the 7 today, the Empress and the Knight of Wands. So as we get started today, uh, there was, I have to tell you, there's a, there's a police f gun range not far from my house, but I've been hearing it on and off all morning. It was coming up all through my read as my voice is going. Um, also, when I went out this morning, it's been kind of rainy all day, uh, but the birds were very active. I definitely saw the woodpeckers. They were all flying quickly back and forth between trees. So there's definitely some, uh, you know, anxious energy that, that things have to get done quickly um, going on. Yeah, they were just like going flying back and forth from the trees constantly, like really quickly, which I don't usually see in the mornings. It's usually very peaceful, and I'm lucky if I see anyone flying, you know, back and forth. So the gunfire actually woke me up this morning, and that was, um, it wasn't until 10.14, because I was, uh, again, awake late last night. But I'm not sleeping badly. I just end up not going to sleep till really late. So I got up at 10.14. So the 14 was significant, again, because the read was at 11.14. So 14 is the temperance card of being patient, taking one step at a time and remaining balanced no matter what, no matter how much gunfire is going on. The read at 10, at 11.14, uh, we had the, and this is the Syrian Starseed deck, which is the major deck for the read. All of the clarification cards are the Rider Weight mini deck. We have the, the Golden Universal Tarot, we have the Gilded Tarot, we have the Tarot of Sexual Magic, Romance Angels, as well as the Numerology deck. And the major arcana here were the Chariot, the Hanging Man, which is the Hangman traditional deck, um, and then the Divine Wheel, which is the Wheel of Fortune. And then before the read, the Transition card came up, which is like the Death card, and the Tower came up after the read, like the Tower. There were three cups, one pentacle, two wands, and two swords in the reed, so weighty on the side of the cups, which has to do with emotions and feelings and expressing from the heart space. And the court cards. We had a lot of court cards in the reed today. We had the knight of pentacles, the king of cups, the queen of wands, the page of wands, the knight of swords, before the reed is the queen of cups, and after the reed is the knight of cups. The numbers in the code line today were all about compassion, time out, and healing. And the numbers were very slim today. It was based on five, 1, 5, and 10, which is, excuse me, I've been burping a lot today. I don't know why. But the 1, 5, and 10, we have the 1 of the beginnings and the 10 of the endings going into the next cycle. And then the 5, of course, is that midpoint. So it's, it's stressing the beginning, the two ends, the polarization, and then the zero point or the the moderation point in between, just staying, you know, to the left of the middle or on the airing on the side of light. So let's see here. The only number that came up on the code line was the number five. So all about change, expansion, freedom, uh, the Hierophant energies, which has to do with um, Taurus energies, which can be stubbornness, but also luxuries, um, also it's all about uh, religion and establishment, traditions, commitments, all of those energies come up here. And also Han came up representing the masculine again, but also showing me it was Han and Jesus. It was all one and the same. It's all the same divine masculine template here. 
that we're working under for the twins. The message about compassion, timeout, and healing was about, um, I don't know, if, for those of you who are new to me, you may not have seen this before, but I did uh, one video where the um, uh, they were giving me the a download about temperature and how the the body temperature of the human is like the masculine's boiling point, whereas the boiling point of water is the feminine's boiling point. So she's got a much higher boiling point. It takes a, the feminine a lot longer to get angry. So there was, again, a reference to that today, that the temperature rises, um, say, says the great... <laughs> the great Oz. So the Wizard of Oz was coming up. The temperature rises, says the great Wizard of Oz, also referencing the five of freedom, the, the triangle of the delta, the delta dawn, the, the change, the, um, the pooling of the delta, of uh, the freedom, the hierophant, that freedom rings. And again, the hierophant connects with the Taurus energies. So, and this all had to do with Han and Jesus. They were giving me uh, multiple names for both sections. So Han was also Jesus. It's all the same divine masculine templating for the masculines. And um, it was all about uh, the, that five of cups energy of letting go. So it's reversed, meaning no more feeling sorry for yourself, no more feeling like the victim, no more holding on to the third baton and not letting go, make, staying at the Y in the road. Instead, just making a choice and making those decisions not feeling sad anymore, not feeling guilty or shame anymore, letting go of all of that stuff as the temperature rises, says the great Wizard of Oz, you know, coming out from behind the curtain as the human, as opposed to, you know, something that seems more than that, like the wizard, just being your authentic self, which is the wizard. So I was also getting... In the, um, when I wrote, went to write down the triangle of the delta, I was getting a message to remind you guys that in the triangle, there are no points, all right? So the points of the triangles aren't really closed. They're actually open, okay? Because there's no, no such thing as a closed or physical object. It's all energy. So again, when you see two triangles put together, like the, um, you know, just like at the Louvre with the triangle there and the story about the movie and the triangle underneath the, underneath the ground, which would be the, the counterpart of the masculine and feminine triangles. When they put the two triangles together, that makes the diamond. But that's in a flat 2D sense. If you make it into 3D, those, those triangles are actually cones. And it's more like the valve of the vein. So it's like two cones coming together makes the valve of the vein. And all of those together represent, you know, tributaries, whether it's the human body or the rivers, the roads, whatever it is, the dimensions, they're all tributaries flowing back and forth within each other. And there's always another way around. And then um, I had shown you this, this diagram before as well. When you have just, for example, the monad. So let's say you have a triangle, then you have one row of three, you have another row of two, and then the one at the top is one. And they can be the pairs of twins for 12. It doesn't matter. So the point is, going around in between all those circles within the triangle is what we're doing as far as flowing around, going to different levels. But in order to skip dimensions, you have to go from one circle straight to the next. And that's like uh, going from one valve to the next valve as opposed to going down the carved path. So in other words, going off the beaten path. That's how you jump timelines. So it's, it's relative to all things in nature, whether, it's, like I said, the human body, outer space, the tributaries within the earth. But again, there are no corners that are finite. They're all infinite. They're not actually closed corners. They're open. So let's see here. So uh, having to do with that also, the valves were coming up in the veins because the veins have valves in order to push the blood back up to the heart. So the big push is coming up here around the code line with the temperature rising, the hopping off point I was getting, the shift in dimension. So then the font came up as well, because the hero font, the Ellie font. Um, and this was from wordinfo.info, and specifically for font was coming up unit 1628, and I just bring that up because that's the numbers I always like to bring up. 
but the font came up just in the header being defined as stage of mitosis, excuse me, or meliosis in which the corresponding parts of the dividing chromosomes move to opposite poles of the spindle. So when I opened that up, it was actually defining anaphase um, because within that definition, it referenced font as the same as phase, all right? So there, there are different ways of spelling coming from the Greek word font, phase, um, phasic font, um, just different spellings of it, but they were all the same. So, but interesting that the definition was coming up of the stage of mitosis, which, which the corresponding parts of the divided chromosomes move to opposite poles, so polarization of the spindle, the phase or the font. So also in Greek, it means manif the actual word font means manifest, show, appear, make visible, display visible, or to show through or to shine through, or illustrious. So here we go back to the hero font, and font meaning manifest, and Eli font. So manifesting of the elephant is the Elohim, the ELO, the Electric Light Orchestra, which always references to me as, as Michael, because Michael is the lightning and Metatron is the thunder. But that's coming up as the the ELO is the feminine aspect because my um, Metatron jokes with me that Michael is the feminine, he's the masculine. So ELO is the feminine, him, so Elohim, the feminine and the masculine. And then for hero font, we're getting the manifestation of the hero, the hero's games, hero's gamos, hero being the divine feminine, not the masculine. And the games is the divine masculine. So Michael brings light to Metatron's thunder. The Divine Feminine brings peace and awareness to the Divine Masculine's war games, overkill. You know, it's like red light, green light. The Feminine slows down the Masculine because otherwise he'd kill himself because he'd keep going really fast. You know, you need that balance between them. So getting right into the read here, we start out with the Ten of Cups upright, which is number 50. Um, that's complete emotional fulfillment within the family. So it's oneness, basically. It's that complete emotional fulfillment. The happy family, and that was at 1149 and 50. <laughs> so we had 50 twice. 49 is the single person completely happy with themselves. And then 10 is the family going outside yourself for complete emotional contentment. The completion of the cycle, emotional fulfillment, after the battle, near death or fear, resisting change with the, with the queen of cups. So the family and the divine masculine were chained resisting change with the Queen of Cups coming in. In uncomfortable emotions, not walking away, the King of Cups reversed. And as I wrote the King of Cups reversed, a horn, someone's alarm on their car kept going off this morning. So this was the first time the alarm went off. But I tell you, it went off at least four times today. Unbelievable. Uh, the King of Cups reversed, leave, reliving the past, childhood, past lives, difficult children, or the past now returning. Emotionally detaching to ready himself to leave. Healing dreams come true after suffering in silence. Looking back, going back, living in the past. Uh, then the Page of Wands comes up reversed with the Ten of Swords bleeding out. The Queen of Pentacles upright in the aftermath of the King of Cups reversed coming together with their divine lover to um, give news or a message or spread the word of the imbalances, the inequity at the three of pentacles upright, which is the workplace or the place of co-creation where people come together when it is unfair. The three of pentacles coming upright in the read though. So the page of wands is uninspired or frustrated, frustrated bleeding out. And the queen of pentacles upright of, is balanced and grounded, but avoiding disaster, the king of, or in the aftermath of disaster or sudden events, the king of cups reversed, emotionally detached from a group party or manipulating the coming together of the divine lover, spreading the news of inequity, debt, imbalance, unfair sharing at the workplace, or people taken advantage of in work, group, or places of co-creation, honoring or church ceremonies, or a raise in position that was not offered as promised. So they're coming up things that are unfair, inequities at work. That's coming up 
not so much as the injustice, but the imbalance in the relationship. As we turn the page, it's 1204, the hangman and the emperor, right? The boss at work and the persons who left, who's left hung out to dry. The workplace taking advantage of employees or just can't afford them anymore, and employees must leave. And this was at 1205, now the hierophant and the hangman. So now the people who leave work go to church to pray, beggars on the street, always another who will take the abuse. Like, so if you get fired or laid off, it doesn't matter to the company because there's always, always someone else who will come in cheaper than you, who will take the abuse just to get a chance to put food on the table. Time out in the country or time at the ranch. Nature boots with flaps and laces or natural boots with flaps and laces uh, creating like, it's like the divine masculine and feminines, but more masculine here, um, creating like Michael Michelangelo, like a master doing what you love no matter what. Working for yourself, not allowing others to affect your authentic self. The Ten of Cups and the Three of Pentacles here, they're both upright. Family work relationship looks very positive and complete, but complete. The Knight of Pentacles offers help here, a proposal, money, a gold coin, from the Empress's stack of money, perhaps. The Empress reaping the rewards from the Knight of Pentacles' hard work as loyal servant, or working diligently to save and reap rewards, and the empress is insecure and manipulates her way. A master of negative manipulation or her own insecurities get the best of her. And this was at 1212 to 1213. The wisdom to know the difference. 12 and 13 has to do with total transformation and death. And then the gunfire started up again. The empress was upright here, but her heart isn't on her sleeve. It's completely detached so she can reap and manipulate all at the same time. A marital situation where the Divine Masculine does all the work, loyal servant, and the Empress controls and manipulates the finances to her advantage. The Ten of Cups and the Three of Pentacles can be a family that work um, together in connection, and it may seem perfect on the outside to others, again, the Sham Fam may be coming up here, but there is major manipulation here. The Divine Master may even have felt all of his issues were due to his father and now realizing he was more controlled by dark mother energies and vice versa for the feminine. Obvious wounds are easier to address. The subconscious ones, the ones you don't ever see as a child, those are the tough ones to get to because you don't see them as wounds. Wedding comes up as this situation involves marriage and beneath that was attraction for both the masculine and the feminine. Since you attract your subconscious wounds, you end up marrying your mother, your father, or a combination of both, and siblings, etc. They are then to trigger you to become aware of those wounds, to bring them up in order to release. Bring them up to your consciousness, so then you see them from a new perspective, and then you release them for your whole line or lineage. And that's at 1217 and 1219. So the star and then the sun to release them. The star is getting attention, and then the sun is about releasing them to become fully energized again. Conflict, spying, looking back at sexual relationships is complete at the moment. Healing and forgiving time out for compassion, especially for oneself. The battle is over with third-party issues. The 5D dream girl from another world and dark empress or dark mother template with the divine masculine uh, hands are tied by that dark mother energy and the snake at her side dabbles in the dark side of nature, manipulation of free will to get her wish, acting as a block between the 3D and 5D manifestation sealed by Jesus and Thoth. She ain't no picnic comes up here. And when I went to write picnic, I wrote picture. So she ain't no picture. She ain't no picnic. And picture is something is flat and 2D, right? So it's saying there's no way she's a picture or 2D because she's too dynamic and, and quick-witted for that. So she ain't no picnic and can be an annoyance. It doesn't mean she uh, is an awful person, but you know, wounded people naturally become manipulated, manipulative, may not think they're even being manipulative when they are. So she's only, She's no picnic. She's coming up as only white and red silk, fleur-de-lis, conch shells, dead bugs, and family crest 
with red boots to walk all over you. So she just wants to make sure she gets her way. And that's at 12, 28, and very much about that Empress energy. But it's not coming up as reversed. However, the Magician reversed is, which is very manipulative. So just because she looks like she has good intent doesn't mean she does. This Empress, her heart is completely detached from her body. So that 12 is the Hangman and 28 is the Two of Wands choosing a path. The Divine Masculine is planning something more peaceful. Lantern, fruit, fan, and rose pink dessert. Or a serious talk about being happy alone with himself. Or about the Divine Feminine and the 5D world. Someone is remote viewing the Divine Masculine at his work perhaps from above. So there's definitely dark energies trying to control him from the etheric realms. So Dark Empress comes up here, Dark Mother, to keep the dark goats around him every minute. Be careful of uh, be careful of objects that people gift you to keep tabs on you energetically. Only carry on you things you've cleared with your with your energy signature and no one else. Clear and wash crystals regularly, etc. Sage and use your intent as well as clear water. Um, and send love to all the water that you drink. And then the guns start shooting again. It was 1237. And when I started talking about clearing, clearing things, including your crystals and any other objects that you keep with you on a regular basis, that was 12, 31, and 32, which is the, is the hangman. And then 31, 32 is conflict, going from the expansion of conflict to the six of wands of the journeyman who gets a lot of attention, right? But that can be negative attention as well. You know, the crowds who are jealous send their negative vibes to you. So make sure you clear yourself every day. Um, and send love, love to your water every time you drink. Because remember, it's scientifically proven that you change the molecules when you send love versus hateful words, okay? So then we're at send love to your water, your drink. It's 1237, unconditional love, the king of cups. Hanging out in peace. Remember, there's no fear about any of this. There are always entities in your etheric bodies. You're just clearing as a spiritual practice each day, okay? So make sure you stay balanced. Uh, teaching and learning comes up, which is number 57. That is the three of swords. And then underneath that was new beginnings. Number one, the magician embodiment. The devil is out behind this queen of pentacles. Horny devil or red beady eyes or dead tired coming in on the red eye with a child. A student or intern, perhaps. Capricorn, Virgo, Gemini, and Scorpio energies here. The Capricorn is upright and positive, but with devilish intent. Two queens and a child. The Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, and the Page of Pentacles. But the women may be of opposing beliefs. Christianity versus Judaism, or cowboys versus Indians. The Queen of Pentacles with good intent, but free of... but free of um, change because of that. Oh, I see. Okay, she, the Queen of Pentacles is coming up as good in, intent, um, but free of change, and because of that, because she fears change, she fears, not free, but she fears change, because of that, devilish attachments tend to come in on her and hang on, right? Because whenever you fear, you lower your vibration, and that's when the dark entities can come in and cling to you. So the Queen of Swords, though, is coming up here as there to teach them to clear, to recover financially and practically, or from injuries and manipulators with evil intent. A child or student may want to learn from the Queen of Swords, but the Queen of Pentacles' mother may be fearful of these learnings based on religious beliefs. The Queen of Pentacles is more intellectual and practically based Whereas the Queen of Swords is all about spiritual truth and royally connected. Third eye is very lit up. Unafraid of giving uh, um, the needy a hand up and unafraid of those with dark intentions because she has light and truth at her fingertips. Teaching of the gold coin as opposed to the 3D money with bulbs to grow more pot, which only takes you to the 4D. It only takes you so far. Um, she teaches... Of all of the elements, the gold coin, Excalibur, the sword, the Holy Grail, and the third energy. It is the Divine Masculine's job to bring Holy Communion. She is open to all who seeks enlightenment, open to all religion, 
geared toward heart-based love and oneness. The Queen of Swords with family emotional fulfillment, creative work keeping um, the, the creative work keeping out of her energy dark manipulators in order to get her wish for happiness within self above all. Teaching and learning with all, all for one and one for all, staying connected with higher self, seeing beyond pretense. So recently here for the masculine and feminine, we have the King of Cups reversed again at 1257, the Three of Swords, the three-way situation, three-way heartbreak, separation, all of that. It also can be surgery. The lover starting over in love and not settling. The King of Wands reversed with sovereign or his own sovereignty. And these two, the King of Wands and King of Cups here can be the same person. Or they can be, so the King of Wands can be uh, clarifying who the King of Cups reversed is, or they can be two separate people, but they're both reversed. So the King of Wands reversed is coming up here, um, starting over in love and not settling, um, and connected to the sovereign or his own sovereignty, right? Coming, becoming single again, or focusing on the Divine Feminine Sovereign. But the, he's coming from his root because he's reversed. The root chakra energies left her behind even though she was up ahead, the divine feminine. The divine masculine injured and thus slower to catch up, a painful ending and betrayed, back spine and pain issues and giving up or surrender. Ay caramba, he hates saying that. He may feel abandoned by sovereign even though she was always right there. There, it was just wounding to clear. And this was at 101, and the shooting was coming up again. The foundation here is the chariot upright. A big, bold move or travel, ascending. Um, past these lies, a split, divide, cutting through the BS. The king of swords spreading the word, ending a family, dysfunctional ties, and or a big loss of money, and is now just over it, done. Done feeling guilt, sadness, or shame, no more manipulative games. The central energy here is the Knight of Pentacles, the loyal servant in uh, maybe proposing a new passion, creativity, and growth. The Queen of Cups is offering to the King of Cups reversed uh, love in 5D meditation. The Divine Masculine resting, praying, energetically exchanging energy, meditating about how to express feelings going forward. Or going on to the journey with good news, lightness, keeping things light and leading the way, following their guidance and their synchronicities in their knowing of our truth together. Three to one, the mass and the feminine and their combined third energy. The twins with the third energy. The challenge being getting over it. The grieving, the loss, the regret, the shame and the guilt. For twins to just be love instead of what have I done? Feeling you had no other options. The dark past influences, imprisoned, trapped, hostage, and now letting go to fix, repair, and make amends. Even in a cell, like a jail cell, one can free themselves if they choose to. The Knight of Pentacles upright is in need of help, maybe in need of help, money, time, or energy, or this is actually a separate page of Pentacles, um, or an invitation, or just this is a poor student, slow to learn their life lessons. Um, please accept his pure heart, and please, please forgive him. He is now, from the page of Pentacles reversed, the, and then to the Knight of Pentacles upright, now is the King of Pentacles upright. After the battle was over, he was able to find peace with his twin, and went from the page of Pentacles reversed, poor student, or opportunist, to Knight of Pentacles, and now the King of Pentacles, Master of Manifestation. The feminine bull has left. She was the poor student or intern, or went on to greener pastures. The Divine Masculine bull, Hierophant reversed in a divorce, breaking contract commitments to be more spiritual or think outside the box. With a final judgment in, announcements or a call to action, Energetic stealing from greedy family no more. The King of Cups reversed, emotionally detached, uninspired or frustrated child, and verbally abusive child, healing and learning to dream again. So this could have to do with the children of both the masculine and the feminine. Detached from their anger and abuse, as well as his own insecurities and cutting out manipulation, 
disconnecting from all that doesn't serve. Now crowning is the hanging man, awake but with that right knee block, all about regarding anger of the divine masculine, whether that's in the masculine or the feminine. So having to do it, um, having had avoided dealing with confrontation when not seeing eye to eye with people, like not wanting to confront people, which is a big problem for the twins, and holding your tongue and then exploding later, not expressing feelings or energetic exchange, delays in communication, travel and moves, fighting conflict, fighting conflict, competition, constant goals, and the never-ending games to be played to trick the other side and holding on to what you've got. So that's 124 is a magician and the queen of wands. She's got in the Sirius Darcy deck, she's got hands and everything all over the place. Um, putting the mass in, living in fear that someone will take from you. Not believing the truth for fear that they're out to get you instead of turning into yourself, your knowing, how to feel around them, understanding your intuition, right? When you're around energy you like, you resonate with them. So why would you question that? It's about trusting yourself as opposed to letting other people put you into fear of what not to trust or to trust. You just come with an open heart in every moment. And then if someone triggers you, you know that you're not resonating. It's time for you to leave. Defenseless two energies coming in as well as others all coming at you at once no longer caring what they think and making a bold move to move or travel or ascend to higher places, higher realms. Awakened and no place for stubborn bull here, the Queen of Swords speaks the truth to the Emperor, putting it all out there, on the line for him, leading the way in a call to action in the aftermath of energetic vampires and dropping those burdens and confessing what's heavy on your heart. To free up as the Knight of Cups to offer love, to be love, no matter what you come across. The false light, the full moon, dysfunctional families, manipulative, greedy companies, those refusing to love, those who are overwhelmed, drunk, crying, purging, emotionally detached, uninspired, throwing tantrums, giving up, throwing up, getting thrown out, verbally abusive, dreamers, stars, tripping or tripped up. None of it can change your free will to be love, no matter what. The horse trainer allows the horse to be wild until they are ready to come around. Patient and loving, offering always a safe place for the stud to save grace. No need to save face if you are always authentically who you are, which is love. Soon is the Queen of Wands reversed, again with her hands and everything trying to control. The false light, the full moon energy, divorced or breaking outside the box in the awakening process. Suffering in silence, feeling there are no options, howling now alone at the moon in a divorce or justice or with Libra coming clean about a near-death experience or being dead tired, unable to function, healing inequity in relationship, tripping up to drop the facade and break patterns that don't serve, like false light offering love while detoxing, still causing chaos at work, no longer now allowing it to affect them. So even though there's chaos, it's like everything's fine because the Divine Mass and Divine Feminine are learning to let go. They don't care, you know, um, not allowing these energy energies to affect them. The twins in grace, no matter what. The Divine Mass and working slowly, softly, seeing the rainbow at the end of the 4D bridge, the light at the end of the tunnel, freedom. The twins see themselves today as the page of wands reversed. However, in this deck, he's the masked boy with the flame inside. So when he's reversed, it means he's taking his mask off. The flame never goes away. Okay, so his flame never goes out. It's about trusting that even if you take the mask off, the flame doesn't go away. And this is at 144 to 45, which is the mastering, guarding, integrating of the Four of Cups and then the 45 of the getting over ourselves. Like a child who's tired, and surrenders. Now you are free to leap and be the patient angel that you are. Remember that moms love to cuddle their tired children at the end of the day because there's no more back talk and the boys aren't jumping off your lap every two seconds. 
when they're tired and then they go to sleep, they're little angels, pure angels. That's it. Post the war, everyone's pooped out. So easy to surrender, so easy to love self and be happy. So remember that. Very soon, for the masculine and the feminine, heart to heart conversations, soulmate, yes, this is your soulmate, and let friends help you. Make amends with yourself. Reconciliation is just checks and balances, making sure it is relatively even before going out to play and go off path in peace, unafraid to try new things, people, and places. The Page of Wands has a mask because he's young and unexperienced, afraid to admit they don't know how to use all this inspiration built up inside of them. So they chase girls, not understanding that putting on a disguise doesn't change the energy field around you, People still feel exactly who you are. Around the twins or how they are seen is destiny, destined to slow down according to nature's wheels. The Knight of Wands rushes back while the sealed divine feminine is in another world, purging, drained by his energetic output. He needs to slow down to raise the divine feminine up as she transmutes negative energies and recharges for both of them from the central sun's energies. The Divine Masculine slows down. The Divine Feminine needs to get out in the sun, out and about. Clear blocks, both of you, of feeling negativities, lies, divides, splits, the BS without option. Hear the call to action. The announcements being called to union. You are now being called home. After detoxing the false light, you need to use discernment. And it's not about fear ever. It's about discerning how you feel around each person and every environment, using your intuition, your abilities, your psychic gifts, healing, time out, compassion, but even more so for the masculine and feminine today is love and your synchronicities. It's never that simple. Today, it's all about love and your synchronicities. Slow down destiny to allow the divine feminine to shine in her zero point, disallowing the false light feminine energies that are now falling out of the limelight. Their true colors showing anger and resentment and pettiness drama. No need to take others down by staying in love. They will do that all by themselves. The universe got your back. No need for negative energy like revenge. Those awakening hold their tongue, holding back announcements until the right timing. Working to align, getting their ducks in a row, happiness all around, despite the Queen of Wands reversed at work, and she can represent anyone at work who's negative. No more extending energy to those um, who are, no more extending energy to those who are, I don't know what I wrote here, but whatever it is, um, showing you know lower vibrations not feeding into anger, drama, complaints, or draining people. Do what you can, kindly, authentically, and with love, and leave the rest on to the next. And that was 202. High priestess, high priestess, or psychic abilities, psychic abilities. The verbally abusive and manipulative, conceited, and disconnected will clearly be seen here. No surprise in tripping up and needing to break patterns. It will be very obvious. The Knight of Cups being love all the time, the Queen of Pentacles tempering the beast after over-isolating, coming out to be love, or turning back to negative energies and ill thoughts until those people or situations can then return in a more positive way or ask for help. And that's at 207, the High Priestess and the Chariot, to ascend, using your abilities to ascend, discern their energy for manipulations. All right, so you don't need to know who is and who isn't in every moment because you can feel it when you're in their presence, whether you like that feeling or not. So we are not to live in any feelings we don't like. You're only supposed to do what feels good. We turn the page at 208, the High Priestess and the Strength card. Post-trauma, separation, and heartbreak, lightning strikes twice. The secret is out about rejection, vulnerability, and the slowdown in the retrogrades, putting a hold on new life, or loans, holding back money or spending, playing ball, hardball, or magnetizing and manifesting, 
and then the shooting started again at 211, the high priestess and the justice system, or people not using their intuition and vulnerable to the changes in the tides, blocking your good fortune, your new life. Orange to orange grows, lemons to lemonade, poop and nuclear power, residue to new ways of powering up. There's always a new way around the problem, a different, there's a different avenue or street, thunder road, lightning streak, Metatron and Michael, what a pair, eight and five, eight is power, five is freedom, this is called greased lightning from the numerology divine triangle book, Danny and Sandy, as, and then right as I wrote that down, I'm looking at my iPad and there's literally a picture of John Travolta, it was pretty funny, happy family and an ending to the cycle, the chariot is boldly ascending by removing the mask and slowing down, detaching from what no longer serves and proposing to get over yourselves. To the queen of wands reversed, who's lying in a split, cutting to the chase to the bottom of it, awakened to verbal abuse and the need for them to hold their tongue, the battle is over. The masculine and feminine are through the portal. The queen of cups is complete. The happy family cycle with the king of cups reversed and the king of and the queen of swords there's a bold move to propose awakening further the challenge being guilt shame and feeling sorry for self the masked boy removes his mask it can be a girl as well the masculine within both of us the queen of wands reversed is coming up with verbal abuse in a slow down to reveal lies and split and cut through the bs and hold your tongue instead of cutting others' tongues off. Being loved to everyone, post-trauma and heartbreak, lightning strikes twice. Don't forget, three times, you're out. All right, so this was very, a very important message. And we're talking about a lot of slowdown. This is, we've been dealing with all that slowdown because most of the retrogrades are now going direct. So today... To, to tomorrow, Pluto is going direct, and it takes a while to speed up. But we're now really going forward. So all this retrograde slowdown activity has the purpose of the retrograde is to put you in slow motion so that you can see things more carefully. So again, this is weeding out all the people who aren't being their true selves and kind of forcing them into a situation where they reveal their true personality. All the anger issues, resentment, all that stuff will be coming out. And within the masculine and feminine as well. Anything that still needs to be cleared will come out. That right knee anger wound is definitely coming out. And that's a lot of impatience. So that may be the energy you're feeling out there. I was definitely feeling it everywhere. Just with sitting in my house, hearing all the gun shooting, and then the alarm going off 10 million times today, the birds kind of freaking out and flying from tree to tree. There's definitely that scattered energy here today. So now we're going to do all 12 signs and see what comes up for everybody. What's going on? I'm kind of excited to see what's going on there. So here is, I'm just going to show you all the cards first. We have that 10 of cups there and the underlying energy. Recent past is that king of cups reversed. But I was getting, wasn't getting it negatively today. It was more about just the, the king of cups and the need to detach from the negative energies around him. Um, the chariot is coming up here in the foundation. The... Um, Clarification cards is just that five of. Wait, is there something else? Uh, we have the ten of pentacles um, underneath there reversed, as well as the five of cups reversed, getting over yourself. And then here's the other three cards. You get the ace of swords down there, uh, the king of swords, and, and the page of swords. Then the central energy is that knight of pentacles or knight of crystals. The challenge being the five of chalices, getting over yourself, because that's reversed. Then we have the other underlying energies here. And crowning is the hangman, who's reversed and awakened, but there's still that right knee block in focus. So we bridge over here to the near future position, and then we have that, you know, queen of wands. There she is with all of her arms. She's got a lot of arms in this deck. She's got that false light. She placed herself on top of her head. Okay, that's false light. The masculine seeing himself and the feminine, this is their one unit here, but it's the masculine within both of you, is seeing themselves as the masked boy, but it's reversed. Taking the mask off. And then around you guys is the Wheel of Fortune, the Great Wheel, but it's still reversed as we turn Pluto a direct today. Uh, the, the Ace of Swords here 
as the blocks that you need to clear is reversed, has to do with lies and splits and cutting through the BS, using that Excalibur if needed, and then we end up on the Knight of Swords or Orbs here, which is also reversed. So that can be either holding your tongue or very verbally abusive. And there we have that Queen of Wands again, right next to the verbal abuse. She's reversed next to the Destiny card reversed. Then we have the Knight of Cups upright there, and you see the Knight there, very upright for the Knight of Cups. And then we have that Tower and the Three of Swords, and you see where there's lightning strikes twice. And then we end up there on the Ace of Pentacles reversed, so it's like getting ready for that new beginning, but holding back right now. So let's get into the 12 card read. No, nothing's been placed yet, so let's see where we go from here. All right, so we're gonna use the um, same cards we normally use. We have the Rider Waite, we have the Kipper deck, and we have the uh, Thoth deck. So instead of showing you each card at a time today, I'm just gonna put them, deal them all out as I go. I'll say them, but I'm not gonna show that so we can save time, and then I'll pick each, each pile up at a time so you'll still see all three cards that each sign gets, so you won't miss anything. Take a deep breath. This is for all 12 signs for today. It is October 3rd, 2019. For everyone watching, the best and highest good of all those concerned, what do we need to know what do we need to learn? Let's clear all negative energies from all auric layers, all chakra layers, all negative energies, period. Uh, for the best and highest good across all dimensions of time, space, matter, and realities. Filling the empty spaces with only beautiful, organic love and diamond light. And so it is. Okay. Aries to Pisces, all 12 signs for October 3rd, 2019. Here we go. Aries to Pisces. <sighs> okay. So we have for Aries is the hangman reversed. Taurus has the lovers reversed. Gemini has the temperance upright. And Cancer has the king of pentacles reversed. Leo has the two, uh, excuse me, the Six of Cups, the Children in the Garden. Virgo has the Seven of Wands reversed. Libra has the King of Swords reversed. And Scorpio has the Ten of Cups upright. Sagittarius has the High Priestess, the Four of Wands for Capricorn, the Wheel of Fortune is reversed for Aquarius, and then Pisces we have the Justice upright. So let me just pull out the ending cards. We'll review these when we get to the end. So don't be intimidated by any negative cards because it's just getting, uh, uh, we're just getting turned around here. Let's see here. All right, so the truth is going to be presented about breaking up that's more spiritual and then the be the being love okay so it's just coming out to where we ended up in the read as well so the underlying energies the bottom of the deck is the wounded warrior in surrender for the fire signs we have the two of wands for the earth signs upright we have the ace of cups for the air signs upright and then for the water signs the journeyman six of wands upright so the overall energies for each of the signs is actually good so let's see what's coming up. And then we have the Fool down here. Okay, beautiful. So now we go to the Kipper deck. Let's see what cards we get here. <sighs> Take a deep breath. There's a lot of stressful energy in the air today. Okay. There's the Pisces, all 12 signs for October 3rd, 2019. Aries to Pisces. <sighs> Aries to Pisces, all 12 signs. October 3rd, 2019. Aries to Pisces. Okay. So then for Aries, we have Great Fortune. For Taurus, we have the Coffin. For Gemini, we have the Mature Woman. For Cancer, we have Wealthy Man. For Leo, we have Pathway. For Virgo, we have Occupation. For Libra, we have Mature Man. 
for Scorpio. Official person for Sagittarius, courtship. And Capricorn is family room. Aquarius has poverty. And Pisces has bad health. Okay, and that can just even just be love sex, so don't worry about that so much. We'll see what happens when we get there. For everybody, you get community, so that's all of you. So pulling together, all for one and one for all. Um, there is some negative energies here because we have the courthouse next, and then the next card out is the false person. All right, so just be aware of that. And it's never to put you into fear. It's just to be aware of the negative energies coming up right now. And that could just be somebody with the mask on. They're taking off their mask. There's changes happening, so it doesn't have to be something negative. The underlying energy here is judication, so it's reconciling whatever it is, reconciling differences or your bank statement, whatever it is. We have, again, the thief. There's definitely some false energies here. That's the false light, and there's a man here who's concerned about it. Okay, that's the underlying energies, all right? And someone in despair, okay? So getting to the bottom of it, what's the truth and what are the lies? That's what's coming out. And it can definitely be the despair of the masculine or the concern of the masculine or a father or father-in-law boss around them, okay? As well as the feminine as well. I just said that twice. All right, now I'm just shuffling this Doth deck. Let's see what we get for Doth. October 3rd, 2019, for Aries to Pisces, all 12 signs. Aries through Pisces, all 12 signs. One more. Aries to Pisces, all 12 signs. Aries to Pisces. Take a deep breath. Okay. All right, so for Aries, we have the Prince of Wands. Upright. Then for Taurus, we have victory, but reversed. Gemini has strength, reversed. But this is like the nine of wands. This is more like the surrender as opposed to the strength card. Then we have Cancer has the chariot, reversed. Leo has the completion card. Virgo has failure, but reversed. Okay, that's like the seven of discs. Okay, that's like for me in the Syrian Starseed deck is the Divine Feminine's heart, actually. For the Libra, we have the Tower Reverse. So avoiding disaster or in the aftermath of disaster. Or things aren't as sudden as you thought they were. But maybe someone who you thought was going to live for another, you know, six months may pass away sooner. You know, it's that kind of ex expectation. Then we have Scorpio is Knight of Discs. Like the Knight of Pentacles. And then Sagittarius, the Emperor Reversed. Um, this is for Capricorn, Valor, but it's reversed. This is like the Seven of Wands, reversed, feeling attacked. Okay, then we have for Aquarius, Swiftness. This is like the Eight of Wands. All right, lots of energies going back and forth, lots of communications, travel, whatever it is. Lots of physical back and forth. Then we have the Magician, the Magus here for Pis Pisces, the Magician, upright, which is good. Then for everybody, we have the hang the Hangman. Let's see why. All right, again, this is like the, see, this is like a family tree. So in this deck, for me, with the prudence here, this is pruning the tree or imprudence, leaving the family, all right, becoming independent, no longer depending on the big business, the family, whatever it is. They're, to them, they will consider that imprudence because now you're not letting them control you anymore. So this, for me, is a positive sense. This is eight of Disc, like the Eight of Pentacles. So maybe leaving the family or leaving the family business. The hangman left out to dry. And then we have disappointment, but it's reversed. This is the Five of Cups. Again, this getting over yourself, and that was coming up the read. Getting over guilt, sadness, loss, regret. Getting over yourself, just done being the victim and feeling bad. So that's perfect. Then we have the bottom of this deck is the Moon Reversed. All right, so that can be the new moon. It can be getting up before daylight. Um, it also can be deception. So we have definitely thief energies and false people around. So all that stuff is going to be coming to light. The underlying energies, we have the fool, which is free to take a leap of faith. 
opening your heart fully with, with a loyal friend. And then to go on the journey, to offer love, to choose the new path, to choose the left and the spirits connecting with me of surrender. So this is a perfect message for you guys. Keeping your heart open no matter what, to be love, to be this Knight of Cups here. Always be loved. Keep your heart open in every circumstance. There's no reason to prepare. Like, you know, we all spent our whole lives trying to prepare for the worst to make sure we could handle our work day, to make sure we could handle the kids. You don't need to prepare. You just need to show up in every moment with an open heart, knowing if it gets too much or you get triggered, it's time to walk away. That's it. It's the same, same response in every situation to be love. Never stop being your authentic, loving self. All right, so we're going to start with Aries. Be free to go on the journey, to have good news, not bad news, to be love, to offer love, to choose a different path, and then to surrender to it. I'm trying to get more direct than that. Wow. Aries, the hangman awake, which is very much about the read today. There's great fortune in this, and the Prince of Wands is upright. So this Prince of Wands, he's on a chariot, so he's ready to go. He's on his way, awakened and, and going. He's on, he's on, he's ascending quickly. This is for Aries. So Aries and surrender, surrender or they gave up. We have the Queen of Swords speaking her truth about how to implement, how to go forward with what you have. It doesn't matter what you have. It's just about going forward with an open heart to do what you love. Let's see what's coming out. She, they came out this way, but the cards want to switch this way. So it's like she tells her truth to this person, then she goes on to the next. This person is maybe being sneaky, or she's telling them, come back and be your truth. This, could, this person can also come back and then come clean about what they've been doing. It's like she's chasing them down. She goes, this one's fine. They just need a little help to, to know how to spend their money. This person's doing something wrong, and she's like, it's okay. I love you too. But, you know, you need to come clean about who you really are, the real you. This person's not expressing their feelings. So they're sneaky, or they're coming off as sneaky or someone who does wrong because they're not exp expressing exactly who they are. They're not sleeping. You know, they're trying to rise above the situation, so they're stressed out. So it's about um, Aries either being the one that needs to come clean. But I'm not getting that. I'm getting that, you know, they're on the journey. They're on their way, helping people, blasting through. And it's coming more feminine, but it doesn't matter because the Queen of Swords can be the feminine within the masculine and the feminine going out and doing work, being in their truth. So it's really beautiful, actually. I love that. All right. Leo. Wow, the children in the garden, the Six of Cups on the path. Another one. Fire signs. Completion. This is as great as Aries. Beautiful. This is definitely um, union energy. Um, completion of whatever it is you need to complete. There's complete surrender. Let's see what else Leo's got today. Okay, there's union for you. All right, this is about ego death. Or somebody who's finally out of control and then ego death. Letting go of dysfunctional family. Okay. Or loss of money. And going forward in spite of that. Again, it's just reflecting what we talked about in the read. No matter what's going on around us, we don't need to let that affect us. Let them go through their lessons that they need to do. We hand, help give them a hand if they ask for it. And if not, you go on to the next. And be that loyal servant that you are. Offer a hand, but don't do things for them. Just show them how to do it themselves. This is the Ten of Cups reversed, ending the family cycle of negativity all right, but this means also it's just the cycle done. You're already into the next cycle. Okay, and this could this is yeah. Neg he's like, look, he's skipping from this issue to going back to being the loyal servant, and then going to the next issue of this family with a lot of unhappiness and negative self-talk, and offering a hand on how to deal with that, and then exposing all and and coming bringing everything into happiness. All right, and then having fun with a friend. So it's making sure to balance all of your work and play to make sure you spend time for yourself too, resting, having fun, and time with the family and spiritual time as well. That's, they're both really beautiful for Leo and Aries. 
Well, that's what happens when you surrender. Everything starts working out. High Priestess, Courtship, and the Emperor reversed. So there's a little bit of out of control here. This can be ego death. And this person is upright. So, and this can be Pisces energy as well. And the Emperor Aries. So being, being in your knowing, using your intuition, being peaceful and quiet, and keeping to yourself when you're not ready to, to expose the information, then coming forward. Um, but there's definitely a courtship coming up here. Like when you don't know until it's time to know. And then the courtship will happen when the emperor's either out of control and was lost his mind, or he goes into ego death and is then ready to come forward. It's for Sagittarius. So there's definitely a surrender, but maybe it's a little bit more of a struggle there for Sag. Sag was struggling this week with whatever they were going through. All right, Sagittarius, why? All right, so for Sag, there may be a breakup here. They have to wrap up before they can go forward. The King of Swords is definitely upright in his truth. He's surrendered, but he's not quite ready to go out and be loved. He's still feeling a little insecure. So this is just before he's quite ready. So Leo and um, Aries seem to be a little bit ahead of, of Sagittarius here. So it's definitely a breakup or disconnect, but it's not him because he's in his truth. He's surrendered. He's just not quite ready to offer love yet because he's still maybe licking his wounds or re recovering. Okay, dropping the burdens and confessing all that kind of stuff. Now that his secret's out. So it's just, you know, recovery from all that, being present. All right. So Taurus, we all have the two of wands up top, which is choosing a new path. Here we have the lovers reversed, which can be just a lack of affection as well, or indecision. But we have a coffin here, and then we have victory, but reversed. So it's like the six of wands, the journeyman, but it's reversed, which means someone feeling like a failure or doing things under the radar. Mm. And doing things under the radar, this could be just like the vampire, you know, he stays in his coffin until he's ready to come out, until the light <laughs> Right, He has to come out only at night, not during the day, because there's too much light, until he's acclimated to the light, um, feeling like a failure, or just staying under the radar, right? until they're ready to deal with the light. Right? They've been, they've been in the dark for so long, the vampire's taking some time to acclimate to the light. So this is what I'm getting for Taurus. This could definitely be a breakup, like I said, lack of affection. Um, could be fighting with your kids as well when you're not getting along or this is in the aftermath of a death so having gone through a death and the services and now just acclimating to the light again okay so whether it's a death of a person or a situation it's just needing a little time to get back to to um, a positive place and choose your new path but they're on their they're on that way they're choosing the new path they're just still acclimating to the light Let's see what's coming up for Taurus here. All right, so here's death. So whether it's an actual death of a person or transformation, transition, whatever it is, the dark night, walking through the muck of the 4D, stuck in some emotions still, unable to find peace, um, but trying to pick a new path, but they're not in peace, not realizing they have to find the peace first in order to clearly see their new path. But they're there. They just need to get do a little bit more work to get past this stuckness because they're grieving or whatever they're grieving the loss of. This is about isolating too much and then again acclimating to the light after being in the dark for too long. But they're getting there. Somebody might be coming to them and saying, you need it's time to choose a new path and they're, maybe they're not quite ready yet. But they will be. They're still grieving, okay? Might be a death. Or death of a situation, death of a relationship, death of a work situation, whatever it is. But they're def they're about they're choosing a new path or they're about ready to don't let someone else force your hand though you know you do it when you're ready so virgo has the seven of wands reversed which is feeling defenseless to the energies too many people attacking you at once or just learning not to care like this is about learning not to care when there's chaos around you to stay grounded and centered and you don't deal with that stuff and this has to do with when you have to go through this journey while you're working so then we have failure which is reversed so it's the seven of pentacles reversed. So learning, it's like implement, it's not failure. It is, so it's saying that failure is being still and not, not expanding, basically. 
There's nothing wrong with being still. You can still be expanding while you're being still. But saying monetarily or manifestation-wise to be still is failure because you're not expanding. So here we are expanding, expanding how you do your work, who you do your work with. Do you want to stay in this environment that makes you feel like this? I don't think so. This is person, someone thinking about what they really want to do, what they love to do, and where they want to do it. Do they really want to do it here? Not really. Okay. So let's see why Virgo has that energy. They're choosing a new path because they don't like their current environment. All right. There's, it could be a family environment or family business, or it's just naturally the end of a cycle, and there's a lot of negative self-talk, gossip, spying. It could be people who are bipolar, ADD, ADHD, autism, all of those kind of things come up under this. But it's just really ultimately negative self-talk and lying, lying to oneself um, that this family situation is going to get any better because it's already done and over with. All right. So it's a need to detach from this environment, even if it's your kids. If they're chronically negative, it's about being happy and doing what's best for you. You know, put your mask on first and then deal with the kids. So if you're not in a place to deal with this kind of energy in a mature, level, loving way, then it's time to step out and take a break until you're ready to deal with them again or until they're ready to raise their energetic vibration and come back to you in a better, more loving way. Okay? So it's just about a lot of kid energy, exposing everything to the kids or um, the kids needing to get some sun. <laughs> To be as simple as that, after a, an end of a family cycle. So whether the kids are leaving the home or the marriage broke up, it's about the kids healing here and getting active again. Getting out in the sun, doing things, being physical, um, getting past the injustice or imbalances. Okay. Uh, maybe just needing to ground and integrate some of these um, truth messages coming in because this could feel a little harsh that knocks this energy for a loop or there's a court case or a divorce that's incomplete still. And these could be um, these could be other kids, older kids running in. This could be a younger child. But this is positive news. But they're just, you know, it's not complete yet. Or there's still some um, injustice, but they're, they don't care. They're upright. They're good. Oh, we don't worry about that stuff. You know, come with us. Come out. So you'd be also trying to get someone in a more positive place. But be careful. You know, it's about discernment, too. Don't go out with friends who you know are going to get you into trouble. Because there's definitely some impatience here. Could be a fallen angel as well, right? Who's saying, uh, don't worry. Oh, it could be someone helping you to get revenge as well. There's a lot of positive energy, so don't let it take you there. There's just some impatience. It can just be impatience, but don't let it go to that fallen angel friend uh, talking you into something that you don't resonate with. It's about staying balanced, grounding, grounding saving, holding on loosely and being practical, being moderate at this time, okay? So with these energies out there today, I definitely wouldn't take any risks today. So then we have Capricorn. All right, they got the home, the union, the celebration, perhaps. We have an empty family room, and then Valor's reversed. So that's that Seven of Wands, reverse. So feeling, who else got that? Feeling uh, defenseless to the energies and the attacks coming in. So was that uh, Virgo? Yeah. So that was that same card that Virgo has. So Capricorn has it too. So you could have Capricorn and Virgo in your chart. But it's feeling defenseless. And no matter what it is, it's still being able to be in your heart space without feeling attacked. Like that's their energy. That's their issue, not yours. Okay. If you feel defenseless to the energies, sometimes we, you know, we're just struggling because the energy is coming into the earth at this time. So then it just means rest. Take it easy, right? You have a chance to be home with no one around. Take advantage of it. This looks like someone very happy to have an empty home, right? Because they're just dealing with these tough energies um, while they choose a new path. So let's see what comes up for Capricorn. 
Alrighty, so Capricorn has this, dealing with this, this just left. This is where they are, because the house is empty. So all these people left, whether they went on vacation or they just split up and they moved out. This person's going forward on a new path by themselves. Going forward to have to deal with another family first with these negative energies, and then they can get to some real happiness and full energy again, possibly get their children back in order after an ending of a family, and then they'll be good, okay? And then again, that positive energy comes in again. Then they can get more physically active, but right now you need to rest because of the heavy energies coming in. There's time to choose your path. All right, let's go to Gemini. Gemini has temperance upright, the mature woman, and the strength reversed, but this is like the wounded warrior because it's the nine of wands but reversed. So this is, uh, can be, she can be an angel, right? Who's, who's always in surrender, always there when you need them. Um, this can be taking one step at a time off the beaten path, just being patient and balanced. Or she has an angel who's always with her. Someone, they, she could be someone you refer to as someone with an angel over her head all, all the time. But someone's in surrender, or this person's coming in to help Gemini. She's their angel in the surrender. There is an offer of love there at the top. For all of the air signs, you have an offer of love. Could be loving yourself first as well. That spiritual love. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. All right, that's what it is. All right, so here's these. This is the person coming in to help, that mature woman, and then here is the energy that needs the help. So someone's world feels upside down, they're in disconnect or in a breakup, and this older person's coming in to help them, whether it's a mother, aunt, grandmother, or friend. Uh, but she's definitely in her power, and she's come in to help. So whether she's Gemini or she's coming in to help Gemini, either way, there's a big offer of love here. Okay? So this could be a male Gemini. So she's, it could be his mother or somebody else. Or again, um, and he's in his truth. So she could be separate, she could be separate, and this could be Gemini energy in here. So she could be helping this energy to bring this energy in to make everything better because he's in surrender. That could be a male twin coming in, which would be really nice. Maybe he's still stuck healing, so he's not quite ready to be loved, but maybe he wants to bring in a message of good things to come. There's definitely a message of love there for Gemini, so... So don't worry, you're good. Uh, Libra, King of Swords reversed, whereas it was upright for Gemini, mature man, and then the tower is reversed, okay? So maybe in order for this person to get upright, they need to make the tower upright as well. There needs to be a sudden something happen, a sudden epiphany, a sudden ending, a sudden explosion, whatever it is. This could have to do with confronting things too. Libra not wanting to confront or make decisions because they're afraid to hurt people's feelings. You need that tower to get everything upright again. There's a big offer of love that comes in here. Let's see why Libra has these cards. It's the King of Swords reversed. Why? All right, so what comes out for Libra is dropping your burdens and possibly confessing um, with the secret out. Maybe somebody wasn't using their intuition or the secret's out, there's a secret passion and dropping their burdens, confessing about it and being present to it, facing it. This is facing the situation, so like I said, and purging if you need to, facing either your own pain or the pain that you may have caused somebody else, but facing your worst fears is what this is for Libra, okay? And that could be in reference to Queen of Pentacles reversed or this is Libra, but either way, there's a big offer of love here this is having feeling stuck or on someone maybe this person could be mad um, it could be all about money on the war path or need to go to the emergency room for emergency services or just in chaos and needs help right if they're going through a lot of purging um, maybe they just need some help or maybe this they need to go through the purge, but then they're right back to normal again. So maybe somebody's confused about this. <laughs> like one minute they're great and they're performing, and the next minute they're, you know, crying their eyes out. 
So the Libra may not understand this about the journey, but learning that now, that the secret's out, or it could be vice versa, where this is the Libra, and that's an, another person. It's about Libra not being afraid to face the tower, to allow the chips to fall where they may. It's just about being love and offering love no matter what. And it's, I'm getting like a connection between the air and the earth at the top with the two of wands. Like they're both, it's kind of both left-handed. Like the right hand is over here, offering the love to the left hand of the feminine over here. So there's a connection between the two. Um, waters are, water signs moving away on the journey, away from air and earth. And then fire's just dealing with their own stuff, surrendering, okay? And to be to free themselves. So then we go to Aquarius. Aquarius has the Wheel of Fortune reversed, poverty, and then swiftness, which is like that Eight of Wands. So in a turn of events or a turn of fortune, may have left um, unwillingly or willingly to be po in poverty where they may, maybe they weren't before um, because of the, they, they're expressing their feelings now, going back and forth um, or exchanging energy with their twin and they're no longer going to put up with this because they need to be in their truth. This is Aquarius. Why is Aquarius in poverty now and expressing their feelings or energetic exchange? And that those cards went flying out. All right, so there's a lot of unhappiness and a turn of events. This could be some arrogance as well. This could be somebody drunk at the bar as well. But the Queen of Cups is upright. Someone, somebody wasn't being happy with themselves and maybe they're now learning to be happy with themselves as the Queen of Cups. At night. So it could be feeling like this during the day, but doing better at night when the stars are out and their dreams come true. This could be connecting with your, your twin as well. Um, during the day when seeing reality is difficult, and then for this person at night, it's actually better because they're connecting with their twin. They're finding a lot of happiness. Look at the difference in the colors. It's just beautiful. So this may have been difficult, leaving behind having their wish come true, right? Because it was like this before, is your wish, your dreams come true, leaving behind what you thought was your dream to go forward to this, to connecting with your twin. All right, so that's the kind of energy here to find your dreams or just leaving. This could just be, this not to be a twin. This could be a divine twin and then this is a karmic leaving for their dreams, okay? But just be careful of the devil unless this is just Capricorn energy waving hello. But remember, when there's stardom, there's usually a lot of dark energy around that. It's just natural because it's balancing things out. So don't be afraid of it. Just be in your truth and tell them the truth. That's all you got to do. Okay, then we have Cancer with the, all of the water signs have that six of wands up top, the journeyman, good news, success, getting attention, leading the way, victory, the king of pentacles reversed, the wealthy man, and the chariot reversed. For me, the chariot reversed is, it can just be stuck, but it also can be chaos on the war path. It can be cancer. Um, there's definitely financial or ungrounded, there's financial loss or loss in finances status, or he could be a greedy person because he's very wealthy. Um, doesn't look good with the chariot reversed, but let's see what else comes out for this wealthy man. He's getting a lot of success and attention, but is it for the right reasons? And is he just not showing people what's really going on in their life? All right. So again, he's recovering in a turn of fate or a turn of fortune that went wrong. So it could be he could be seen as a wealthy man, but he might have lost status and money in a chaotic situation. Maybe his car broke down or he had to go to the hospital and lost a lot of money because of an illness or just is in chaos because of this downturn in the market or money and lost a lot um, and maybe because he's leaving a situation to change a situation so it's a struggle financially right now to go for his dreams to go for his dream or his dream girl yeah and there's Libra what else is here? Libra, Cancer, Aquarius, and Capricorn are all coming out here for the last one as well. 
So he's just kind of stuck right now in between places because he maybe he was always the wealthy man, but maybe he's not so wealthy anymore or went through a breakup, whatever it is, or went through an illness, so it took a lot of his money or is just ungrounded or in choosing to leave a relationship because he wants to go into another relationship. All right, and if you're the feminine, you could be the chariot reversed with this wealthy man. So the wealthy man's leaving or you're leaving the wealthy man um, and that causes him to lose money and status. All right, so then we have the, but either way, there's success and attention there. It's not like you're broke. But he was definitely recovering from a hit. This is Scorpio. Happy family or a completion of a cycle. The official person gives word and then the knight of this, which is the loyal servant. So this could be someone at work meeting with their boss. Okay. Um, maybe this is the end of the road, but in a happy way, because maybe they can't give them more money or they don't, they're not looking for the same thing, so they have to part. But either way, it's a happy parting or just the completion of an emotional cycle, and maybe someone is getting a raise or a promotion here. Whether it's within the same company or just leaving, moving to a new job, there's success here for Scorpio. So if you're going for a new job, you've got all, all the right energies. Okay, this is um, the surrender. Maybe not quite ready to be love. This could be some people around the surrender who are jealous or envious that they're able to surrender and let go. Um, there could be a secret that's out now about whatever they've surrendered to do. Maybe confess to somebody. Maybe the person they confess to is, is now jealous or they're insincere. Maybe they said they can't give them more money, <laughs> but they were lying or just insincere manipulating because they don't want to give up their money. Um, but either way, there's someone not using their intuition or the secret's out or there's some kind of secret passion, whether it's a work passion or a relationship passion. Um, it's about just being present to the moment right now, okay? Allow any stress to leave. Like, don't hold this in. Just allow the purges to come up because you've got all the energies of the universe working for you right now, Scorpio. So just be present. You're good. Pisces has justice, bad health. And the Magician. So this could be Libra energy, and then we have the Magician. For me, it can be Virgo, Gemini, or Aries. But we have Libra here, too, and bad health. So, and we have a masculine and a feminine depicted here. So it could be someone needing caring from someone. He could be just got ascension symptoms. He could have a legitimate health issue. It could be a mental issue. Or he could just be lovesick. So let's see what's coming up for, for Pisces. And what's going on here? What's going on, Pisces? Why do you have the Justice card, the Magician, and the Health Issues? Again, this is coming up for a lot. So there's an offer of help for the sick family. Or someone's family just ended. So, Or everyone's unhappy, and that's why they're sick. Because there's so much negative energy in the house. But they're being offered help here. There is help. Maybe they just need help to get back on their feet. Um, maybe kids need help. This is negative self-talk of the whole family. Like the whole family may have that same negative perspective. And then there's help coming in for that. To help them get back on their feet. Maybe heal. Or just get back in a more positive place. It could be the kids as well. To just get them going again. Somebody could be getting a tutor as well. Okay. A lot of kid energy here. Okay. So it doesn't have to be young kids, but, you know, it could be tutors coming in, other kids helping. Um, maybe this could like be big brother, big sister coming in to help someone. You know, somebody might be volunteering for that. But it's, you could really make a kid happy here by coming in and helping, okay? They may come from a very difficult family situation. That's for Pisces. And just be understanding of that. Um, this person here may have come from injustice, so they can really relate to what this kid may be going through. Okay. But also be careful of, you know, when you're, you have people coming in for your kids, make sure the parents use their intuition to make sure they're resonating with the kids that, that are coming to take the kids out to make them feel better. That's all I'm getting. It also could be getting the kids out of the house because the parents aren't feeling well or they could have a terminal illness. 
So they want the kids to get out of the house to get happy because they're sad all the time because the illness of the person who's at home. And this could be an older person too who's just got Alzheimer's or you know whatever, mental or physical illness. They're, the grandparents are in the house and it's causing the whole house to feel depressed. So it's about um, manifesting something different, some kind of justice for the whole situation. Um, and this person could be help come, the person coming in to help him because he's got negative self-talk. He doesn't even have to be ill. It could just be depression or um, which can be an illness, but it can just be, you know, like I said, it could be lovesick. And this person's coming in to help them with that. And there's justice in this and inspiration to manifest again. This could be someone who's always been a big manifester and now has been sick or hurt or injured and recovering. So feeling sorry for themselves. And this person's going to give them an inspiration to get back in that um, back on the saddle again. All right, so that was Pisces. All right, so we end up the read with the Ten of Pentacles reversed, okay? That's the dysfunctional family or big family lost or big business lost. This could be the end of a big company as well. So we have adjudication, reconciliation, along with a, a big family or community loss. And then the moon, there's deception in this as well. A lot of deception energies around. So be careful when you're out being free here. Again, just to reiterate, we have the hangman with imprudence, leaving the family tree, left out to dry from the family, right? So this branch might have broken off from the family tree. Um, and But they're, no, they're not disappointed. They're no longer feeling sorry for themselves. They're good. Either way, the family or the person who broke off, the disappointment's done. Then we have the community and the courthouse and the false person and the change. So somebody might just be taking their mask off in the community. Maybe they felt they always had to be something to live up to this community, but when they come out and be their true selves, realize that um, they can be accepted anyway, or they have to leave a marriage or leave a job. There can be just going somebody going for their license. But don't pretend that you're something you're not. This just could be kids too, teens, you know, acting all grown up and everything. But be careful of legalities here. Somebody could be making an, an adoption legal as well. Taking somebody in, adopting them. Oh, that's really nice. But is it for the right reasons? Like, are they doing it for money? Is the child doing it um, just to have a place to be? But there is change either way. Somebody could get a new car. Somebody getting their license for sure. There's a lot of different energies that can come up here. It's for everybody. Then we have... Ending up for the fire signs, we have, you know, this is post-trauma. So this is after the battle. So most people are getting over it, but there's some that are still recovering. So they may be struggling more than others. All right, so stop to give a hand, but don't do it for them. Then we have earth, which has to do with healing and forgiving. Post-war. And then we have air, which has is actually inspired. There's new passion, creativity, and growth here. And they could use that toward the others that are still healing here. It's like they're, it's like um, paying forward. As soon as this person gets into their good energy, they're, they're rippling that effect to everyone else. And then we have water, which has magician reverse. So be careful of that. That's really, that can be really negative energies. It can just be feeling really insecure, but that can lead into really bad manipulations, you know. So be careful who's offering that new passion. Make sure that you trust that person. You would never you would never receive that from this person. Even if they're just really insecure, why would you want this from this really insecure person? You don't. So be careful what these people are being offered. It's going into the need to, if you're sneaky and you're being this magician reverse because you're really insecure, it's about coming clean no matter what. To tame your inner beast, be strong. Okay. If you're in a situation where it's um, there's issues at work, third-party interference, third-party situations, or just leaving, quitting, getting fired, whatever those kind of issues are going on at the work, or losing money, be strong and be in your truth no matter what, even if it's a difficult situation, even if there's a big loss here. Okay, It's about grieving and then getting over it. Right? Taking time to ground and integrate the changes, the love that's being offered, the opportunities that are being offered. To then speak your truth, no matter what it is, if you're being in your truth and loving, nobody can fault you for that. 
And then you have the Hierophant. This could be a divorce, could be a break in contract or commitment, or it's just about other people, a spiritual community, that she's speaking to the spiritual community or the people who think outside the box. So this isn't about religion or spirituality, because if you're ascending, you don't have to be spiritual or religious. You can just be very in tune with the universe. Um, you don't have to have a specific belief. It's just about understanding the energy and the one for all and the all for one and being love in every moment, okay? So that's a really beautiful last three cards to end up on. Okay, drink your water, make sure to hydrate well, get your rest, be in joy, go outside and play, touch the trees and the grass and the flowers and talk to them and send them love. It's kind of dark today. And if you're not sure about the energies around you, then just stay in and pamper yourself or go get a massage or something, you know? And send love to your water every day. Rise and be love, you guys. Bye.